here's today's shower, and this is the one in South Carolina. Um, Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so you guys, we try to ever so often try to bring you guys shots of like how small this like shower is. Well, like right there's the shower stall. See, look, shower stall. Um, there's the Sam. And then, of course, we'll see, like, there's a sink. Here's my feet. Shower stall. And, of course, one shower. Tight one. And then, of course, there's Sam. And there's your little bench. And, of course, the toilet. So, yes, this is probably the equivalent of the size of our tractor cab. Close enough, right? So... Yep, not too bad. They're, they are oops, they are renovating this one, so they only got half of them running. Um, we had two flying J's in the area that we could have gone to. Um, we picked this one because we've been here before. The next one would have been just north where we get the truck washed coming through this area. Um, but it was going to rain last night, so no point in stopping getting in the truck washed. But this one has more parking. So, anyways, guys, um, we'll talk to you later. This is just a break between first part of driving the 670 some miles and the next part of driving 670 miles. We're doing our laundry um, because we did so many miles yesterday we're um, ahead where we only have like a five hour run today. We don't deliver to midnight so we're not going to leave till like five o'clock this afternoon. Best way to manage our hours is to square up the truck. You know like we went through um, Laundry and clothes that we haven't worn, we kind of went through and go, okay, you know, we do enough laundry, why do we need 15 pairs of pants and shirts that we never wear when Sam wears that shirt all the time, it seems like, never ends. Um, but anyways, so, where you can go through and go, hey, I'm not wearing this, or hey, I won't wear this, or as you guys see now, and we're like, hey, Swift, anyways, um, I got Swift clothes that actually fit, well, clothes that fit, there's no point in me keeping a lot of stuff I ain't wearing. So a lot of what you used to see me wear, I ain't wearing no more. So anyways, guys, I'm going to sign off and uh, we're going to take our shower, do our laundry, and we'll go from there. And this is a nice, this is the new, if you guys haven't figured this out, this is the new HTC Vivid uh, that I bought. So we're trying this out for video quality here. So as you can see, Sam's smiling in the background because the day I bought this, I spent 75 between the case and the camera the same day I got a new wedding band because I lost my last one with the old company. So I spent like $125 on myself. And what did I get? An angry Cheeto. No? Yeah, but you still got a whole new phone to learn. Yeah, I do know. And you're angry because this That's takes really cool. All the pictures we've been taking, but all the pictures we've been taking with the purple truck, like you guys have seen, have been with this thing. So, And then that video, those two videos we shot, uh, while sitting down, we're with this camera. So, all right, we're going to get out of here. This is about three minutes already. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, you guys are asking about some of the differences with the new truck. Well, first off, I guess, as you can see, I'm going to show you right here. This is my bunk now. A lot more room than the Volvo. It's no big crevice like the other one. It's a full-size bunk. And I actually fit up in here. I got... Lights that Sam can control from down bottom, which is kind of scary. It's mood lighting. And then I've got a little light over there. There's a pop holder over there and a 12 volt accessory outlet. And right now, because it's still summer, I've got my fan. And usually I clip it so that the main part's out past this, but it blows the air up here. And uh, basically, like right now, I store my extra logs back over there uh, and then uh, the trip packs that I've sent in but basically this is my bunk and um, as per Sam's request I will not go any further down than like this is about as good as you guys are gonna get right now in the bunks because Sam's still working but what I will show you guys is the finally finished and organized clothes hanger closet um, like I was saying we went through and got rid of a lot of clothes but this is how this cupboard is and it's a lot better than it was. So that's kind of a partial brief tour of the truck. Um, we got a lot more to go, but that's kind of what we're looking at. And for all you don't know, Sam made me this for my first truck. Um, this has been, this is like an $80 like crocheted, not knitted, crocheted blankie. And uh, usually I have this, this blanket, 
and then I got the army wool one and between the two I've never frozen my butt off in the winter um, there's a cupboard right here that's socks and underwear and I'll show you guys that one later um, but we'll we guys still organize that so we'll talk to you guys later hi everybody and welcome to Cheetos world oh. <laughs> you should have never started that should you <laughs> Oh, I guess Alright, Cheeto, here's your world now. Show us what's in your world. Um. That's your world? <laughs> Would you like to, I mean, this is our this is our tour video of the inside of the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, since you're looking up that way. We'll start over here. I've got these, the International's got these cool little, like, shelf thingies back here, which is nice. Hide under my um, bunk. And I've got basically pantry items in here. I've got our bread, our seasonings, and everything like that, or rice. Um, cooking stuff. Cooking stuff because this is where I'm doing the cooking. This is the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. So basically that's all, that's not the, that's not the appliances, is it? No, that's not the appliances. So you're I talking all of our dry goods are up there? Yeah, some dry goods. Okay. Warm. What else is where then? Um, the other dry goods are on the other side with the appliances um, and the canned goods and stuff, paper towel. Or garbage bags, that sort of thing. So, what else? Um, but yeah, I don't have room to keep all the appliances in one place, so usually I have one appliance out anyways because we cook at least once. So usually, like the crock pots, yeah, it's where it is right now. Or the oven, the you know Burton. One of the Burtons are usually out, or the grill. And what else is that pile of stuff that's next to you? Here? Yeah. This is um this has got all the uh, um like kitchen utensils, just soap other stuff that I need to use, plates, um, this is like a medicine bin that's got like Tylenol, cough drops, that sort of stuff in it, um, we got our little cool crystal light thingies and a nice little fall thing. Dollar special. Yep. Um, so yeah, this is all kitchen stuff. This bag here, um, what I did was we have pop and tea and stuff. That instead of having it all roll all over all the time and not being able to move it, I just threw it in a bag. Plus, this bag here, too, is more the plastic wear and stuff like that. Silverware? Stuff, silverware and stuff. And then my blankets, I've got all folded down here. But this doesn't impede you, this pile of stuff doesn't impede you sleeping since no. you're short. No. That's How tall I'm, are you, by the way? I'm like 5'5", five, five, almost 5'6". Five, okay. I'm just letting people know, so... Yeah. Um, but no, if I want, it depends on how I'm feeling. You know, if you want to stretch out, I can move a couple of these things and be fine. So now what's behind your head? Um, behind my head. The wall of weird? We've got, um, we've got Gusty. Mm hmm Um, cleaning stuff. Um, I keep my eyeglass case up there for at night. I take my glasses off. But that's Just miscellaneous you know, stuff that would normally be in the overheads of the you know, old Volvo. This thing here, you know, like Nick mentioned, I crochet, so I've got my yarn and needles and stuff right in here. Um. That now we'll go. Be done more when it's cooler out, but now it's over here. Um, I got pillows. You've and got what color is your bed for those that don't <laughs> understand this? Orange. And why did we go orange instead of like the blue uh, and the red? Because Nick calls me a Cheeto. Well, it was that, and the only thing we could find a set of the fitted yeah. and the sheet set. But it works because it's all black, and then you got orange. We're all set for Halloween. Yeah, but if you get naked, you lay on bed, you disappear. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, and then, um... And now we've got, like, this entertainment area. This is the entertainment area. Here. Where we can put the laptop up, and we put our speakers up for it. And then the bag for the laptop's there, so I do pack it down when we go to travel, type of thing. Everything pretty much stays like this when we tra when we travel. So what are some new things? Um, we've got... Now I'm going to show this. Yeah. We've got... A lot of, there's no shelving yet in this thing if we ever decide to or not. We just yeah. kind of shove stuff in there we don't get into often. The of course, you can see our. There. The tins, cooking tins are the stacked there. Extra food here. is in um, totes. Yeah, the um, extra oatmeal and extra canned vegetables. Um, Miscellaneous stuff we don't get into often. And it does light up. There is a light up here in the corner so she can see in there. Can't say she can't see it's it. It's just, it's kind of strange because they the way they did it was. They put the the steps for the upper bunk right there, so that which is took, bigger and nice. Yes, which took a chunk out of that, so the totes we had didn't really fit in there. So, but, but what do we do with the other totes that we did have? Um, the other totes went down the hill. And of course, you guys remember these? These were in the Volvo. Yeah. We've and got, what's what? Just um, you can, if you can do it. The feminine side products down. here. We've got. Um, our other, like, bug spray, suntan block. Health um, and beauty. Health and beauty stuff, extra soap, 
<laughs> There's not enough beauty in this truck. Anyways. <laughs> because we always try to keep stock up because you never know when you're going to run out of deodorant and you're going to need another one. So, and why didn't we block the metal? Um, the vent for the AC and stuff is right there. Okay. So now what's in the other two? Um, our chicken. Our canned chicken is still in that drawer. And our potatoes are still up here. The two things that we use yep. most often. And then the water jugs are kind of, it's kind of nice because then they're not sliding all over the floor when we're moving. Yep. You can slide right in here. I believe that is the cold air return, but it doesn't block it too badly. Okay. So. And then we have an outlet down there that we use sometimes. Yep. There's an outlet. And there's here. where the coolie sits. Yep. This where is where the coolie is. And then there's an outlet back there. Mm-hmm. Um, so this. And what else is cool about this truck? This truck's got several. 12 volts. What's the. What's a new one? What's something you like for cooking? Oh, there's the... It comes all the way out. Yep, and it's big and... Doesn't lock out. It locks out. It doesn't go back in. It's got this little hook. So, And it's nice, too, um, when we are moving and I need to go on the laptop, you know, pay bills or whatnot, the laptop doesn't slide off. I'm not battling holding the laptop while I'm trying to use it. And there's a drawer below it. Yes. The drawer, this is like that kind of miscellaneous drawer. Jump drawer, bigger than the last one. And this is supposed to be where TV is supposed to go, but Sam uses it for cooking. Yep. And you guys have seen the rest. And so basically that's that. Um, like I said, entertainment. My steps to go upstairs. Here's the front half. There's no storage here. That's kind of where I keep paperwork or storage. Um, up here I just kind of keep um, my glasses, spare set of keys, holster, just small stuff. Uh, cubby here, we just keep hand sanitizer and easy to grab stuff. Um, of course, that doesn't stay there because it hit her in the head. And then Sam's cubby over here that she puts whatever. Just my Kindle. Yep, and then here's the front of the truck now. Um, as you can see, we have the XM put in there, and we just have a three split that's on a bungee, and you ask the boy the bungee. So when we unplug it, it doesn't go everywhere, and we have to go try tracking it down. Um, and the CB's mounted up here there now. Sit down below. There's the dash cam, you guys. And uh, which the nice thing is, you guys are going to see the new video, if you haven't already, you can actually see the side mirrors and, and actually see stuff coming up. Uh, the Garmin up there. And that's where they installed the Qualcomm when we find, or Qualcomm when they did it. Um, some storage here, some storage here, cup holders. Um, you know, it, it's a lot nicer. Um, seats are a lot nicer ride. Uh, overall, it's just a really nice truck. Um, you know, it rides like a Volvo. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So, um, there's your guys' video tour. And no, we don't have carpeting up there because we figure at least that's as far as we'll take shoes. We can take them off if they're wet. And that's as far as carpeting goes in our truck. We are going to spend more, but it was already like 15 bucks for this. So, alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed our quick tour. Um of the new international anything else you want to add orange one nope. nope no i hung my things back up this is what i do with the towels after washing dishes you for breeze them and then hang them yep so, yeah and usually the window back here is open and these are actually almost dry from this morning washing dishes which is nice we have the big windows over on the sides oh yeah that open out it was so. nice. It was kind of rainy here in Virginia. You get to hear it. I don't. But anyways. <laughs> All right. We're going to sign off, right? Yep. Yep. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?